We often talk about women shattering the glass ceiling. My guest today on Beyond World is one is looking to the stars. The UAE's Nora Al Matrushi is the first Arab woman to start training to be an astronaut. She happens to be one of two Emiratis picked from thousands of applicants as the Gulf nation joins the race to space. Now we've heard recently of billionaires jet setting to space, but Nora, a mechanical engineer from Sharjah, is definitely a trailblazer. Welcome to Beyond World is one, Nora. My first question for you. We often talk about women shattering the glass ceiling. You're looking to the stars, of course, as the first Arab woman to start training to be an astronaut. What were some of the biggest challenges that you faced? Uh, so first off, thank you for having me today. Um, I, I guess I'd say that I faced the same challenges uh, any other astronaut applicant face. Um, I had to compete with other highly skilled and competent individuals from many different sectors from all over the UAE. So that was the biggest challenge I faced. Right. Now, you have been picked from thousands of applicants from the Gulf nation, one of two Emiratis. I'm sure the world wants to know, how does one train to be an astronaut? Well, uh, to become a fully qualified astronaut, you will need to learn many things and work on improving your skills um, in many different fields. Uh, astronauts need to learn about medical procedures. They need to be able to give speeches. So you'll be taking some public speaking classes. Um, astronauts also need to undergo survival training. Um, oh, uh, also, you'll need to learn Russian, especially if you are going to be a crew member on the ISS, because you need to be able to communicate with the Russian Mission Control Center. Now, this is certainly a historic moment for the UAE uh, with the first Arab woman training to be an astronaut. You will be training with NASA. So how has your achievement been received by your country, especially the women in the country? Um, I, I'm very lucky to be living in a very supportive community. Uh, once His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid announced my selection, uh, I got calls from uh, my friends from high school, from university, uh, I got calls from uh, different family members, from my teachers, uh, and a lot of my colleagues as well, and they were all congratulating me. My parents also received many calls from their friends, so uh, the amount of support I felt that day was, was very, very overwhelming. Now, the UAE is a relative newcomer to space exploration and sent the first Emirati into space in the year 2019. Now, with your selection, Nora, what lies ahead for the nation's space ambitions? Uh, the UAE doesn't believe in the world impossible. Uh, we have leaders who always encourage us to strive for the best and to reach for the stars uh, and always, always have high ambitions. So with the addition of two more astronauts to the UAE Astronaut Corps, the uh, Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center is uh, building a sustainable team of fully trained astronauts that are capable of taking on any type of mission in the future. Right. Now, we hear that you've always had a certain fascination with planets and stars while you were growing up. There are, of course, scores of women in the UAE and the world looking up to you for inspiration as you train to be an astronaut. What message do you have for them? Uh, find your passion and uh, what you're really interested in. Always set high goals and expectations for yourself. Never stop looking for opportunities. Uh, and if you can't find them, then go ahead and create them for yourself. That's a brilliant message indeed. Now, reports indicate that at the end of your two-year-long traineeship, you will be considered for future missions to the International Space Station. Tell us more about this. Are you nervous? <laughs> I'm excited, actually, more than nervous. So um, currently, there's no set mission, uh, but I am looking forward to start training at the NASA Johnson Space Center. Uh, I'm most excited about the training in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. Um, it's where astronauts practice spacewalks in a huge swimming pool, and uh, being underwater simulates what it feels like to be in space. Right. And Nora, that wraps up our discussion. Thank you so much for speaking to us. I'm certain women across the world are looking at you for inspiration, hoping that you will soon embark on your journey to space. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.